In this video, we will create a simple node app and we will deploy it to AWS, Azure and Google Cloud. So let's create it. I will open my terminal and write npm in it. So I'll pick uh, everything uh, by default and then I will install Express. So I'll create also an index, uh, so JavaScript file index.js. Here I will uh, get express, so const express is equal require express. Then I will uh, get, so I'll create the app first, app is equal to express and app a get request to the main route. I'll add the function here that uh, it will have a request and a response. And uh, this will be very simple. I will just do response send hello world. That's it. So super simple. In the end, I will listen to port 80. So I won't start this up. So this is self explanatory, but I will start this up via a Docker container because the port 80 is just localhost and, and it may conflict your browser. So uh, let's create a Docker file. The Docker file will be very simple. So we need a node environment and the version is 15.4. So uh, we will specify a working directory. I'll call it app. Then we will copy the package.json. So package.json dot means uh, it will copy to the working directory here. So in short is dot. I will add a star here. So this will take package.json and also package-log.json. So if we do it like this, it will copy both of this. Then we will run npm install because we get it from the node environment. Then I will copy all the files there. So the first dot means all the files here and the second dot is a working directory. Then the last command is node index.js. And uh, that's it. So this is our Docker file. To build this Docker file, we have a uh, first make sure to have installed Docker and then run Docker build. Uh, we need to specify a name for this uh, Docker build. I will call it app. So this is a command to uh, pick a name for the Docker container. And then we need dot here, which means uh, this uh, context here. So it will select uh, this Docker file. And now it's building. Once it is completed, let's... So it is completed and uh, now to see the app on our browser, run docker, run, we need to specify the port which uh, we need to run. So 80 is the port inside the docker container and then the app is our app. So in our browser, I'll put uh, for eights. So if we run this command and go to localhost port 8888, we will see hello world here. So this is uh, our uh, container. And now let's get this up and deploy it to AWS, Azure and Google Cloud. Now I will close also this uh, window because we don't need it. So I'm logged into my Azure portal here. And uh, before I create anything, make sure to have uh, installed the Azure CLI. So download the right version for your machine and uh, follow the instructions. You will have uh, access to this 
az command which uh, it will show these options so before uh, uh, so let's go back to the azure portal and uh, we will create a container registry so we don't have any container registry yet so let's create a container registry so uh, I will create a container registry here the resource group I, ha I have a demo, demo resource group here which I added just the name the registry name I will call it app so it needs uh, to have uh, five characters so I will call it my app uh, already in use so my container okay it's container app so which name is not used so my container app I will use this uh, name and uh, for the location you can pick your location for this SKU I will select the ba basic version let's create it and uh, we can uh, create this uh, registry and now that we created our registry uh, we need also to log in so uh, first we have to log in uh, via azure like this easy login so we need to sign in to our account here and uh, we logged in to microsoft azure so as we can see uh, it uh, shows this data so after we log in there we have to run this other command so uh, azure uh, azure container registry login and here we need the name which was which was app so let's copy it also so go to the resource and let's copy the url which is uh, this one so Uh, we don't need the suffix so let's log in so this will allow us to push the docker container to azure so we successfully logged in and uh, now that we logged in we can uh, push our image to push our image first we have to tag the image so docker tag the name of our container is up and uh, I'll paste again this uh, URL which I copied and uh, we need to add in the end slash up so this is uh, our uh, repository here so I added this and uh, after we tag we have to push it so let's push it and now it's pushing our container to the uh, Azure uh, container registry so let's wait till it's completed so it is completed now we can go back and uh, here we'll go to the repositories this is our app repository and uh, here we have our image so this is uh, our image and uh, what I will do here is uh, I will copy this uh, container name so I'll copy this and uh, let's go back to the home and let's create a container instance now so let's create a container instance I'll select the same resource group uh, we need the container name the container name is up and uh, we have to select the image source to Azure container registry and we have our uh, container app so uh, we need to enable uh, admin here so let's click learn more and we have to run this command so uh, I will copy this command and I will run it here so we need the, the uh, name here or I will write it directly not sure if we need the uh, my container up.
So I made the mistake here. It should uh, be with uh, one M, not two M's. So it is enabled and uh, now we can uh, use it. So uh, do we need to refresh here? I will refresh and I will select this resource group. I will select up here registry and now it is selected. So uh, everything is correct. I will change the size here. I will keep everything minimal. So 0.5 is uh, minimal uh, memory. So I'll select this, review and create. Uh, also, I think uh, I forgot something. So uh, we need to also go to the networking part and we have to map the port 80. So by default is automatically mapped. So we don't have anything to change. But if your container port is different, we need to select here the uh, the other port. So 80 is correctly and uh, we don't need to uh, change anything else. Let's create it. So deployment is in progress. The deployment is complete. So let's go to the resource and uh, we have a public IP address here. So we can copy this IP address and if we go to that IP address, we can see our app deployed. So this is how we deploy a Docker container to Azure contain container instance. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you like, share and subscribe. Thank you.